I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic, republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Mustangs. Welcome to the Mustang News in the Morning. I'm Brady. And I'm Demi. Today for our show, we have after school meetings. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump defended his decision Monday. But first, let's head over to Brief for the Weather. Good morning, Mustangs. It is Brie with some weather updates. Today there is a high of 76 degrees and a low of 57. It is partly cloudy with a little chance of rain, but high humidity. In Portland, Oregon, the Columbia River is flooding into the streets and residents are told to avoid contact with the water due to increased bacteria. That's all for weather. Demi, what's going on around campus? For campus news, there's a Thespian Club meeting in the drama room after school. There's an NHS meeting after school in room 737. Teen Court, make sure to be at the West Pasco Judicial Center by 5 o'clock. Tomorrow morning, there's a host of meeting in room 717 and a student council meeting in Mr. Brady's room. There will also be Spanish tutoring in room 329. Now let's look at a cheer video. Hello, Mustangs. I'm here with the beautiful Allie Chamberlain, our varsity cheer captain. And if you didn't know, on Saturday, they went to the Tampa Convention Center to do their first cheer competition. So, Allie, how do you think it went? I think the competition went pretty well considering that we have a really new team this year and third place was an awesome achievement for us. So what was your favorite part about doing the competition this weekend? I think that my favorite part was seeing all the girls come together as a team and really try to hit our routine on the mat. So for future competitions, what do you think you guys need to improve on? I think we just need to improve on our stunting and really focusing on fighting for everything and making sure that we don't drop. So when is the next competition and is there a lot of people at the competitions usually? Um, yeah, our next competition is the 19th. It's at Bartow High School. It's an invitational. So we've never been to this competition before, so I'm not sure exactly what to expect, but normally there's definitely a good amount of schools. Well, there you have it, Mustangs. Back to you guys in the studio. Today in local news, Tarpon Springs is known for its Greek cuisine and sponge dogs, but a revitalization effort in the downtown area has attracted boutique shops and restaurants. We were able to put four new businesses on the street, said Karen Lemons, the Tarpon Springs Economic Development Manager. We've actually gotten about 12 new businesses just in the past year alone, Lemon said. Hibiscus Street off of Tarpon Avenue used to look like an alley in despair with vacant streets fronts, and now it looks more beautiful than a European street. Keep our bathrooms clean. The bathroom is my favorite place in the world by far. It's just so great. It's where I take care of my business and do all my things I need to do for the day. 
so I like the bathroom when it's clean because it allows me to utilize it without being scared of slipping or falling down to the floor. A place where you go to the bathroom. So the bathrooms are pretty gross and I hate the blow dryer, so I prefer paper towels. When I go to the bathroom, I would like to have a nice, clean bathroom. in the toilet so people on me will slip. But today, I don't have my life alert. Please keep our beautiful bathrooms here at Mitchell clean, so kids like him have a safe, clean facility to use. What's up Mustangs, Kayla Wadira here in the sports cage. Monday night our boys and girls soccer teams took on Zephyr Hills High with the boys winning 4-1 and the girls winning 8-0. The boys' next game will be Thursday when they take on Sun Lake at home, beginning at 6. Wednesday the girls weightlifting team will have their dual meet and the girls basketball teams will take on Shorecrest. That's all for me in the sports cage. Brady, what's happening nationally? Well, Kayla, in national news, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump defended his decision Monday to call for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States, touching off an outrage response from these rivals for the nomination in Muslim groups. We have no idea who is coming into our country, no idea if they like us or hate us, Trump told supporters in South Carolina. I wrote something today that is very salient and probably not very politically correct, but I don't care. Demi, any crazy news? Well, Brady, a skeleton used to teach art lessons at a British school for four decades is being put to rest after his remains were identified as human. The skeleton was named Arthur by instructors at Haydock High School. They thought the bag of bones was artificial. That is, except for an art technician, Sandra Dixon, who wondered if Arthur might have once been alive. She says she remembers thinking if it could be a real skeleton. After digging into records, Dixon discovered that Arthur's bones once belonged to an Indian man who died in the 19... Hundreds. After the skeleton was discovered to be human, a local funeral home offered to give him a funeral, including coffin, hearse, and pallbearers, free of charge. The funeral is taking place Thursday and will be attended by teachers and students from the school where he worked for 40 years. Thank you for tuning in to the Mustang News in the Morning. I'm Brady. And I'm Demi. Have a wonderful day. And there's just 17 more days left to Christmas. <laughs>